Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's Chief Stacker. I thought we would do a little pay dirt this afternoon, and uh, this video is going to take a little bit of a while. Last night I was painting on this bag that I've got dumped out here in front of you. Uh, there's about half of it left. This is what I recovered last night. All right, it's right at uh, 0.76, uh, three quarters of a gram. This is how much material we got left. All right, about a half a bag or so. And you want to see something, watch this. Some of you have probably never seen this before. All right, this is called heavy black sands. This is the type of dirt that has a lot of iron ore in it. And the reason I know that is because this is a magnet that I'm waving around here. And what do you think, huh? You think that's some serious black sands? Yes, most definitely it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the pan. I've already got a little bit of material sitting in there. Let's move this out of the way. Let's get our camera set up over here. Okay, snuffer bottle. Snuffer bottle. Get that out of the way. All right, can you all see this material okay? I'll have to work around this camera here. I got the camera right in front of me. I'm using my new iPhone to see how it works out. What I'm doing right now is I'm getting all my gold kind of trapped down in that crevice at the bottom right there. And then I'll bring it down over across these guys, the dirt. So I'll go real kind of slow Got to get that angle. Once you find that angle. Now, watch that dirt coming off of there. You're going to watch all the way around in here. See if you see any shiny showing up. Sometimes you'll see the shiny showing up here in the corners. Little tiny, tiny pieces of gold. Once I get my angle going... Oh, there's some right there. All right, let's see if we can't kick it back in here where it belongs. And then what I'll do here in a minute is I will roll this back. Easy does it. That's why you do it in a tub. You do it in something that you can recover from. After I get finished with all this dirt, I'll just... Take all this water out of here, kind of let this stuff dry out a little bit, and I'll repan it. And I can repan it and repan it. So it's a little bit different than if you're down on the river when you have everything coming out of your pan going into the river. This is working with some real micro type gold. And the sands, a lot of the sands is just right around the same weight as the gold. Okay, let's pull that back. Can you all see that okay? Yeah, you can see some of that gold in there. So, tap that guy. Let's see if we can't get some of that gold sitting over there. All right. Take our snuffer bottle. And initially, I don't worry about how much black sands I actually pick up in my snuffer bottle, okay? You're gonna, when you initially start cleaning it, you're going to pick up black sands. Don't worry about it. What you do is, after you've gone through the process, you've picked all the gold up, say, in this pan, and you've done five or six pans or 10 pans or whatever, uh, you then now dump out your snuffer bottle and clean the black sands again, do it two or three times if you have to, so that you can get to this type of result right here. Okay, that's basically how I do it. 
uh, it takes longer and there's there's many other many other ways you can do it but see you can see the gold sitting right there okay in those black sands all right so let's not sweat how much black sands we're gonna pick up make sure you got some water floating over there your snuffer bottle is not really gonna suck it up okay so we sucked up a little bit of black sands yeah no big deal once we clean it again after that all right see i think i got yeah there's a little bit more right there now you can play around with it you can let's get a little bit more water you can do it many different ways you want to all right this is kind of the method that i prefer and i'll just move it around I try and get the little gold pieces into a spot, as you can see, that's not, really not uh, full of black sands. And a couple more pieces down in there. All right, let's get over here and let's do this again. Okay, work, just work with that same pan till you don't see any more specks of gold. And then when I pan this tub out, I will be panning after that. I'll be panning for really, really fine flower gold. Okay, we're gonna take a little bit of water out of this snuffer bottle. Whenever I dump my water out of my snuffer bottle, it goes right into my pan, of course. See all the water we got in there now. We can really suck that piece up. Suck that piece up. A couple more little flowery pieces I thought I saw there. Uh, let's see. Y'all see any? Yeah, I think we recovered the. I think we recovered. Oh, there was a tiny, tiny one right there. Is that quartz? Okay, we're gonna let her go. Let her go. Okay, so let's say we just did, uh, let's say we just did 10 pans. All right, of course, there's gonna be a lot more black sands in it. If 10 pans was, <clears throat> we just completed 10 pans. Okay, then you just got your, your uh, pan cleaned out. Okay, dump your gold in there. See the black sands that stayed in there. Make sure you rinse that bottle good. I like to do it a couple times. Gold will stick to the edges inside that bottle. Okay, get a little bit of water off. A little bit too much water off. Okay. So you'd be working it the same way you did before. Except now you can pretty much, you pretty much roll it. Kind of just roll your water. All right, you see your gold showing up. I know you can see bubbles and stuff right there, but okay, so let's roll it this way. All right. See your gold showing up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't do that. Okay, so you've got a lot of those black sands out of there. All right, let's set that down, put our snuffer bottle back together. Okay. Now let's just go down here and grab these guys. You can almost... When it's real quiet, you can almost hear those little tiny pieces hitting the bottom of your snuffer bottle. It's really quiet in here right now. Nobody's here except for me. Mom went to go get her hair cut. And she's out there driving by herself. Against my better judgment, but... It 
is what it is. You can't take their full dependency away from them, moms and dads that you might be taking care of or that you might be watching over. Okay, now you can see I have no more specs and see all the black sands that we actually removed that came out of that snuffer bottle. Yeah, there's gonna be some tiny, tiny, tiny flower gold possibly sitting in there, but that's at a later date. That's at a later panning situation. When you have no dirt to pan, you have no money to buy no dirt, you can go to some of this older stuff and recover flower gold. Okay, well that's my lesson for the day. I'm going to go through and do more of these pans until I get this material done. When I get it done, pop over to my Instagram. You'll see the final results over on my Instagram page. I'll weigh it and have it sitting on a scale. And we have uh, a few more bags coming. Should be arriving today. And I just want to let you know at 2 o'clock on Wednesday, coming up this week, uh, retired Navy Rob and I are going to pan some gold out. He's never done it before, so I'm going to walk him through some stuff. And it's really more of a beginner stuff. It doesn't have a lot of these heavies in it that I did today. Uh, so maybe I'll hope to see you there. We'll try and see if we can go live when we do it. Maybe do a couple giveaways while we're uh, painting some gold. And uh, y'all have a great weekend. Be safe, all right, and be healthy. Chief Stacker out.